Hi, I'm John Houtman. And I'm Sarah Houtman. We're the owners of Filster Holsters. We're in our 10th year of making concealed carry equipment. And we wanted to share with you some tips and tricks and principles for how to get better concealment out of whatever it is you're using. The first thing to do is to define concealment just so we make sure that we're talking about the same things and so that we're all moving in the same direction with the same goals. A lot of people have different definitions of concealment and different standards for that. When I talk about concealment, I talk about having your firearm undetectable to the point where someone would have to violate some number of social boundaries in order to detect your firearm, either by invading your personal space and coming into contact with the gun or by staring at you for a long enough time that it's inappropriate. So those are things that we're generally pretty sensitive to in our culture. Eye contact, gaze, and uh, physical space are things that cause us to feel a little invaded if someone is too forward about that. So those are the general accepted standards that I use for talking about concealment. So if your gun is hidden to the point where someone needs to touch you, or stare at you for long enough that they themselves become conspicuous, then we're talking about concealment. We want to move to a point where that's the degree to which your gun is undetectable. Printing, we've all heard that term, occurs when your gun exceeds the envelope of space between your clothing and your body. So in order to reduce printing, we need to do a number of things to cause the gun to conform to your body such that it takes up less space in that available envelope. So we're going to talk about the mechanics and principles that we're going to employ in order to reduce printing. So in order to reduce printing, we're going to apply a number of basic concealment mechanics. So to reduce printing, we're going to cause the gun itself to conform to the body. That means that we're going to get the grip to rotate into the body and we're going to get the top of the gun to tilt in. A lot of people, when they find themselves printing or struggling with comfort or concealment, are failing to restrain these elements of the gun such that the gun tips out away from their body, causing the top of the slide and the grip of the gun to print, and also causing the muzzle end of the gun to stick them in their pelvis below the belt, causing a lot of discomfort. So with a couple really basic tools, levers and wedges, the most simple and basic human tools, we're gonna apply those principles to the holster to cause the gun to conceal better. So, for example, we've got our holster here from our friends at Dark Star Gear set up exactly how we would want to use it. So we're using a Glock 48 blue gun and a Dark Star Gear holster. One of the features of this holster is a device called a wing, and that transmits belt pressure to the holster to the gun. So as you tighten down the belt, the belt applies pressure to the wing, causing the grip of the gun to rotate and press into the body. Oftentimes when you're setting up your own concealed carry holster, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a gap between your body and the grip of the gun. By applying belt pressure to the wing of the holster, that causes the grip of the gun to come into contact with your body, causing it to take up less space in between your body and your clothing. Another thing to keep in mind is you might experience a gap between your body and the gun at the bottom of the holster, which causes the gun to tilt out away from your body. Or if you're sort of curved in the front the way I am, the gun wants to ride the curve of your abdomen in such a way that it causes it to tilt out away from the belt. Short pistols also have a fairly pronounced tendency to tip out away from the body as well, because once you're wearing the gun, all the mass of the gun is above the belt line. So kind of the same way a ship needs a keel to keep it balanced, sometimes having a longer pistol or a little more holster length will help keep that pistol from tipping out away from the body, which is one of the kind of counterintuitive things about why small pistols can be difficult to conceal and often uncomfortable. When we're trying to get our gun to conform to the body, we're gonna use some basic physics principles. So we're gonna use the pressure of our belt across the face of the holster, and we're gonna divert that pressure with wings and wedges. And those two things together can change the way the gun interacts with the body. So a wing looks like this, and when the belt pressure goes across the face of the wing, it rotates the grip of the gun in. A wedge looks like this, but there can be several different kinds. The way a wedge works is it uses belt pressure across the face of the holster to tip the gun into the body. So you can see it like this. Together, wings and wedges can give you complex interactions between the gun and your body. 
So some of this is going to be a little bit of guess and check. It's going to depend on your individual anatomy, but you'll be able to use those two tools to adjust the gun to fit your individual shape. Something to keep in mind is that every human body is different. When you're setting up your holster for maximum concealment and maximum comfort, think about it a little bit like fitting a prosthetic. You're taking a mechanical appliance and affixing it to your body for eight to 12 hours a day. You're gonna to need to pay special attention to how the ergonomics of the system interact with your body that cause it to be comfortable, sustainable to wear, and uh, individual, m most importantly. So your holster is a starting point. You're gonna get something off the shelf that is made to fit the gun and to have certain features, and you're gonna to have to do the last little bit of fitting at home to really personalize it. Every wedge is gonna be a different shape because that's gonna depend on how that part of the holster interacts with your body and what you need it to do. How much rotation do you need? What size of fulcrum does this need to be? How much does your abdomen curve? How much gap does that need to take up? Be prepared to spend some time maximizing the comfort and concealment that you get out of any specific holster.